Welcome back to I'm Still Here. I'm Larry. And I'm Heather. In 1998, at the age of 26, I was diagnosed with stage 4 breast cancer. It changed everything for us, but I'm still here. I've noticed that I always look at you when I say, it changed everything for us. Mm. As if you're going to like go, oh, yes it did. Uh, people listening to a podcast don't know that. Oh, well. I was scolded for that last I week. I know, but you know, okay. you can jump on and just see how silly we look when talking to each other. She looks. Just yes. for fun. Just for fun. All right. We are continuing with our series five to thrive. Mm -hmm. um, and today we are going to be talking about, again, in the time period between diagnosis to treatment, that oh shit time, mm -hmm. uh, we're going to be talking about nutrition today and yes. what things you can do and yes, can do. Yeah, what things you can. I almost said can't do, but you can. Yeah. So right. let's start by just saying that I people are going to come out of from everywhere and offer you nutritional advice. Your brother's sister's grandma's aunt is going to say, "I know what you should eat." <laughs> yeah. It is going to cuz unlike physical, yes. which we talked about last week. Yeah. Unlike physical, this there are there are connections to medicinal things that we call food that if you eat these it can equal right curing and right careful right yeah. so be careful with that yeah but let's talk about why we're talking about nutrition at okay. all um first when i think about it like food is fuel like food is fuel for your body um just like if we want to equate it to a car you put junky gas in your car you can't expect it to run as well mm -hmm. what else well uh yet yeah, you're going to get the output of what you put in um and last week we talked about physical and get up and get moving and um you know it, it's you've been diagnosed but you probably don't feel any different yet you mm -hmm. haven't started treatment so you are you are healthy except for this crazy bunch of cells in your body going nuts um get moving but in order to do that and pay the dividends from it you got to put the right fuel in your body and this isn't a nutrition 101 talk which i guess we can have that sometime but um to break down what those nutrients are but it's just in general mm -hmm. let's put some healthy food in us yeah okay so i think it's best just to start simple Again, this is such an overwhelming time. When we're talking about healthy food, I think it's so much in our nature to say, I'm going to eliminate this, that, this, that, and the other thing, which is, I'm sure some of that needs to be eliminated. But I think it's a lot better to consider, how do I add in some of the foods that I know are good for me? Mm -hmm. Fruits and vegetables in particular, right? When we look at, you know, what they used to tell us, five servings a day or whatever, a lot of Americans don't come close to five servings of fruits and vegetables a day. Yeah. <laughs> right? Um, but just instead of thinking about, I'm going to eliminate all of these things, think about adding in fruits and vegetables. Mm -hmm. And even easier, add in the ones you like. Let's start there. <laughs> you don't have to go start with kale. I don't like kale. I'm not sorry. I don't like kale. You know? There goes our kale sponsorship. I know. We were so close on that, too. Um, but it, I just think sometimes we set these bars or expectations, and it's like, wait a second, let's just kind of climb the ladder instead of trying to jump up to the top of this. Which I hope you guys are hearing the same things out of us because... Um, the same thing was true for mental, the same thing was true for physical, and it's going to carry on through nutrition. If you haven't noticed what, you know, Heather is recommending kind of over and over is, you know, do little things that have success versus trying to just completely right. rehab right. something and go, ah, I failed at it. I'm done. Right. You know, so that's yeah. a little bit of a fear when you're talking about nutrition and fitness. Yeah, I mean, as an occupational therapist, I literally in co took classes learning how to set goals, right? Mm -hmm. And I think we always keep in mind kind of that big long-term goal. But as 
as therapists, we set short-term goals to get us there, mm -hmm. right? So what are the what are the pieces along the way? You know, and everybody feels better with having some success versus versus failing miserably, you know, and just cashing it in or saying, never mind, I tried that. For sure. So, um, find some fruits and vegetables that you like, add them in, right? Right. I and think, this is something you can do. Yes. Just like the physical, you yep. can get up and walk. This is something you can yep. do for a reason which yep. affects the brain, the yep. mental part of it. And just, I mean, again, I needed some outings. I needed some diversions during that time. Go to the grocery store and look through <laughs> the produce or think about the, you know, whatever. All, there's so many different ways to do that. But let's start there. Then, as you're... As you're adding things, it becomes a little bit easier to eliminate some of those things that are not as good for us. Mm -hmm. And by, I don't want to say like, it doesn't mean you can never have them. It just means less of the things that we know are not good for us and more of the things that we know are good for us. Does that make sense? Uh, it makes sense. Now, let's, let's go back 25 years. Mm -hmm. You did make some fairly... Drast, I would call them drastic changes. Mm -hmm. um, I, I think you felt like you had to. Yeah. Or wanted to. I'm not sure <laughs> which. You know. I think some information got in your head, mm -hmm. and you said, "Well, if that's true, then this I have to do this to thrive." Yeah. Yeah, I would agree with that. I think I really was like, okay. If this is really as bad as everybody's telling me it is, then I need to throw everything at the wall and see what sticks. Right, and that's right. what. So we're we're telling you make small, yeah. you know, adjustments or whatever. Yeah. Um. If your personality is similar to Heather's, I actually wouldn't recommend that. I would recommend heck yeah, go all in, and because what it did for your mental state was a completely positive thing because you went all in you could go back to that and i put the perfect foods and i and i didn't eat the foods that could possibly harm me all day today check i i could knock that out just like i got up and i walked and i yeah. lifted some weights check i could yep i'm doing these things to kill cancer yeah and that was your mantra right killing right. cancer yeah right. yeah now would that be recommended for everybody no, no. absolutely not because in, in you'll talk more about about we can fail at this stuff and it sucks when we fail at it yeah. when we come short. Yeah. yeah. So I mean again, the plan that's right for you is the plan that's right for you, which goes back to what we've been talking about in following your intuition. Yep. But I will say I feel like a lot of times there's a lot of encouragement to just do things later. And I'm telling you, you don't need to wait until later to to impact these things after treatment, after all these things. Start now because not only can it have an effect on your body, it can have a huge effect on your mind. I so agree with that. You don't, know? Don't, if people are telling you to wait, I... You know, and I, I mean, I don't know. I, I had somebody tell me a calorie was a calorie at some point in treatment and... and there you know, are days that a calorie, a calorie is a calorie yes. and they are right, but that's, we're yeah. gonna get into that in a few Maybe weeks. Later. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's different than yeah. right now. Right now, remember, you're fairly healthy. Yeah, and if you're, you know, a rookie at like nutrition in general, it can be very simple. Find real, eat real food. Real food means things that go bad, right? Things that will, um, that you know, be able to read the ingredients on something. You know, kind of that five ingredients or less type of principle. You know, we get boxes of. Uh, you know, of whatever that have just this list of ingredients that you go, whew, that's a lot, right? So as just as close as it looks to it when it came yeah. off the, off a vine or out of the ground, as close yeah. to it that as possible, it's yeah. going to be healthier for you. Yeah, and even we go back processing. Right. Even you know, I mean, I would you know, like butter is a pretty real food, right? Mm -hmm. So. There's a lot of things that sometimes are on this, oh, that's not good for me list that I'd be like, well, I'm not saying it's not, you know, it's fine, whatever. So um, I think it's easier, this is just my opinion, is to kind of find what works for you and eat it. Like, and you can build your repertoire over time or whatever, but 
keep it simple. Like I have, I mean, I still do a lot of the same things, but a couple of ideas that I are kind of go-tos for breakfast, for, you know, for lunch, for dinner, um, those kind of things where if you, if you can make this process a little bit easier for yourself, it's going to feel better. So sometimes that looks like meal prepping things. Um, I have a smoothie that I started making early on and I started making it because I literally was trying to get 10 to 12 fruits and vegetables a day mm -hmm. and how I, I knew I wasn't going to eat them <laughs> all like that, but I could make this smoothie and knock out over half of them, you know, just in one thing. And it tasted great. And it tasted great. Whoever you can put spinach in a smoothie and you'll never taste it. You just need it. I will say <laughs> this is one thing where you do need a good blender. You. I have a Ninja, a lot of people, you don't, I don't think you need a Vitamix or a, a, the Blendtex and things like that, but you need something that is going to really, you know, chop up your food, but mm -hmm. um, put it in there. I used to put carrots in a lot. Um, I could, I could taste those or feel them a little bit, but that's fine. Um, yeah, do something like that. As, the other thing that I loved about, I love about a morning smoothie is that it starts your day off. Again, you're already doing cha-ching on half of your fruits and vegetables for the day or whatever that looks like, you know. And if you didn't know, you know, eating calories earlier in the day is so much healthier for you than eating calories late in the day. And why? Because we're awake. We're moving for the most part. We're doing that. We're burning those calories. Whereas if you're eating food after 7 p.m., you're going to sleep and you're just, it's going to be, the, the likelihood of those carbon, hydrogen, and oxygens being converted into adipose tissue or fat increases dramatically. So that we want to front load the eating, especially with the healthy things, uh, just so much better for you. Yeah, I just like it also as a win. I just felt like it was a win when I was like, oh, I've already had my smoothie and this. The other thing I've been doing lately is I'll make a really big smoothie uh, in the blender and then I'll pour, pour half of it or whatever's left over into um, just a Tupperware and I put it in the freezer and then um, I'll get it out the next day and let it just kind of sit on the counter for an hour or so and put it in a bowl so um, and throw some granola on it. So I, I'll, you'll, I'll do that one as a smoothie bowl. So on, can you just say what, what's in your smoothie? Uh, Tell them. My smoothie is a variety of fruits, mostly all berries uh, for the most part. I, a lot of times blueberries, raspberries. We've had a lot of blackberries mm -hmm. or black raspberries that I've been putting in. I liked pineapple in there. Um, blueberries, spinach are pretty much uh, always in mine. Mm -hmm. um, I like, like I said, I like pineapple or raspberries because it adds a little bit of tanginess to it. Um, a lot of times I add uh some flaxseed hemp hearts um stuff like the chia whatever i even have ground up a bunch of that and just keep it in my fridge so i can just fiber and in. protein yep um i used to add juice to it but frankly because i for me i do want less calories a lot of times now i just add water to it but you can also do a an almond milk or something like that um, yogurt makes it smoother. Uh, I use a dairy-free yogurt. Um, we'll talk about that later. Yeah, you can you can do whatever you want. Just try some different. Some people love bananas in them. I like bananas too. I just we don't buy a lot of bananas. The other thing I've mentioned this in the past before, but I keep these uh, gallon-sized bags in my freezer, and whenever I have fruit that's about to go bad, I I put it in there. And the same with like spinach. Spinach is great. It just crunches up when it gets frozen. You can throw it right in the in the smoothie. In a in a banana that's going bad, you'll never know it in a smoothie. Right, exactly. So I just kind of cut things up to the size that they would be okay, um, you know, going into the blender. And so <laughs> when I say my my smoothies are random, they're pretty random, but I'm fine with it. And a long this was probably this was probably 23, 24 years ago. Maybe I don't know in there. Um, I would talk about this a little bit and I teach health and then talk about it and, my, and the kids are like, what? Some spinach in there? Oh, great. So Heather brought in a sample of her smoothie.
for all I of my kids. Few times. You made Over them there. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And they were blown away. Like, mm -hmm. wait a minute, this has spinach and carrots <laughs> and all of these healthy things in there, and it's still great. And and yeah. so we yeah. we proved this. Yeah. If you Hundreds need, yeah. of times. If you need stronger flavors, orange juice is a good one to help with the flavor. Um, so it just depends. But on man, what you're you like. knocking out of the park. Yeah. I mean, so many fruits and vegetables yeah. for your day, yeah. and it's just the the vitamins and minerals that you're getting out of them are are honestly almost impossible well, to get if you're just straight eating them. Yeah, and also as a, like I think as a side note, we, like we oftentimes people will be like. What kind of supplements do you take and things like that? But it's like there's no supplement for eating real food that has, if we can get the vitamins and, and minerals that way, it's definitely the way to go. So, for sure. Um, yeah. So smoothies. Uh, if you, the other thing like with a smoothie bowl, you just make it a little bit thicker, and then you can eat it with a spoon. So if you don't, if you don't feel like satisfied drinking something out of a straw, like you don't feel like you've eaten in the same way when you drink something versus eat it, do the smoothie bowl. Like, yeah, you know, throw a little granola on top of it. Yeah. One some, some sort of base or some sort of to give it a little bit more fulfillment, and that could be perfect. Yeah, and some you. of it, honestly, yeah. is just the act of eating something with a spoon <laughs> versus right. drinking it. So, and I'm guessing with with a lot of people that are in this position, based on the numbers that we mm -hmm. see, that you know there are a lot of patients that are overweight, and uh, that this is a great way to put ridiculously healthy fuel in your body and you can now determine the amount of it that you put in your body yeah. but there is almost zero empty or wasted calories yeah. in this smoothie there's not many foods you can say that about um and in this as an example and other things that you know from that same standpoint i can remember um i don't know if we want to get into this now we're getting into this now um <laughs> You did try to, you did some drastic changing mm -hmm. because of the the type of cancer that yep. you were diagnosed Why don't you take us through that one? Well, so I, I mean, this is, this would probably be sort of, I don't know if, it, if it's at this point, but I learned quite early on that I was hormone positive. So my cancer was triple positive. Um, and so that correlation to food came very quickly in terms of there's, there's hormones in foods naturally if it's an animal dairy has hormones in it again 1998 1999 we're not even talking about extra hormones added no, we're talking just about have the them. product itself <laughs> right just have them. Yeah. there was also additives yeah. it, you know to make mm -hmm. things grow bigger faster stronger all that kind of whatever quicker um so i eliminated anything with hormones yep. in, right from I mean, very early on. So uh, day day three, <laughs> like day two maybe. And the you and know that the, was a change. the thing that was hard at that point was that I really felt like oh my gosh you know Midwest upbringing meat and potatoes kind of thing was like what is the alternative? We really had very 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 little knowledge on how to do this. Yeah. And how to eat right with uh, eliminating all the hormones, mm -hmm. which means no meat or dairy. Yeah. I mean, no meat or dairy because that there's pretty high hormones in meat and dairy. Any of them, to eliminate those and still uh, eat a healthy diet, we were not versed on that. And we do, you did get quite a bit of help on that with some good friends and some people from the church. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, we got help. Just my friend Christy was just like all in, like let's figure this out. Mm -hmm. um, and honestly, we started with okay, the smoothie works well. What can I eat for lunch? What can I eat for dinner? <laughs> like, I, I remember our first attempt at tofu <laughs> oh, something. Oh, I did used to put to tofu in my smoothie too. And you can okay. put that in. And it oh, 100% in the smoothie. You you'll it's never fine. know it's, it's fine. Uh, use the silken kind. I made the mistake, you know, seeing it in the fridge, this block of white <laughs> goo. <laughs> And then I and then I, I'm like, wait a minute, no, 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 it's going to taste like something else no. later when it's made at dinner, and it just it it accepts no. any flavor you give to it type of philosophy here, and and and, that, and, somewhat, and I tried it that night because I was I, I wanted to be as all in with that as I could. I it, the yeah. idea of me chomping down a hamburger, well, you know, you're not eating meat or dairy. I, I that's ridiculous. Um, so I went, but 
I couldn't do that one. <laughs> well, and to it. be honest, I never found a way that I liked tofu either. Uh, I've seen so, people cook it, and now, I, we would both like it. Yeah, I, I totally agree with that. One, we you need to be able to press it. You need the firm kind, the extra firm press. You need a texture on it, and you need a flavor on it. We know a lot more about but, cooking, too, now. Suffice it, you, you also right now can find so many meat alternatives, yeah. you know, and... I know there's, it always comes up, what about the soy, what about the soy for estrogen positive? It, one, a lot of the meat alternatives are like a pea protein or other things right now. Um, so, and also like... What, people don't know what you're talking about. Uh, you just went above people's heads right there. With soy? Yeah, soy, a pea protein. What? Well, so if you're a meat alternative, it's, you know, like you're looking for what is it actually made of then if it's not made of meat mm -hmm. you know so then it's generally a protein source of some kind yep. um in the early 2000s almost always that was a soy protein mm -hmm. and the problem soy has a natural estrogen effect to some extent though i think most of that that has been debunked in terms of you eating soy is not an issue like it doesn't act the same way a hormone would an estrogen would um that was a meat product mm -hmm. so what i'm saying is now you can you can get a meat meat alternative and you can add that in as you're learning mm -hmm. about how to how to switch if you're choosing to switch over and then this is what we've done in the last year is we've really use substitutes over, and that is just for general health. We're still getting protein. Um, we're still eating meat, just very little of it, or meat or fish, or, you know, we're, we're still getting an animal-based protein every now and then, but our main stay of, of protein, which is important, you know, you need very little, but it is important, um, is from non-animal sources. Mm -hmm. And we're working out every day, we're healthy, we're strong, uh, you, you can still get protein yeah. through. But, but in, you know, in this time or whatever, what I'm saying is, is just, there are, just go to, you can go to anywhere. You can go to Walmart, you can go to Aldi, you can go to everywhere. Everywhere. Yeah. They all have a fair amount of, uh, replacement meat replacements. And they're really, I really enjoy almost all of them. The truth <laughs> is most of them are better than the real <laughs> thing. And, and you again, call me crazy right now cook it yourself and you'll see yeah this is the thing though i and I, I just hear i can hear christy in my head right now talking like about because she's been vegan for a long time um just about how like it doesn't mean that you eat these in the same way portion size it that you would right. you know a big steak i mean again most of us could do with far less for like you know the half your plate being meat and for the sure. rest of it being something else it's more of a, yeah, I'm going to add some of this into my meal, this, you know, chicken alternative or whatever it is. Um, and yeah, there's also like, I love black bean burgers. There's so many things that you just have to try them. And I think they're really good. I agree. So. And guys, I mean, we need, most of us need like 25 grams of protein in a day. <laughs> that is very, very little. When I was just getting after it and eating it. I bet I was getting, oh my lord, well, it easily eight, ten times that yeah. in a day just from, yeah. from animal protein. And that's just not, yeah. we need a little, but we, we don't need it at that expense. So, so, so again, when you're feeling good, take a little field trip to the grocery store, find a few things, find some people who are all in to try them. Just like we did a dry January trial of all the non-alcoholic beers this year have some fun with it just have some fun with it that's what i'm saying right yeah, for you sure know? i agree I mean, and and remember we realized it this time your head's spinning yeah you you're going a thousand miles an hour wait a minute i'm trying to survive well you know what here's something you can do yeah actually do here's a couple other ones that are just really simple a baked potato you can top with a million things you can top it with um Salsa, you can turn it into, you know, like a, a Mexican type of thing. Salsa beans, whatever, sort of. Um, I feel like there's a lot of 
pasta and sauce. You can do a lot whole of grain, things. Whole, whole grains. grains. Just do, yeah. And then close to the field as you can possibly get. There's yeah. there's really unhealthy pastas and really healthy pastas. So yeah. and, and again, people, wait a minute, that's carbohydrates. Wait. Yeah, don't mm -hmm. eat the whole thinking, stinking box of it. Right. Um, you, you have to have portion control. Yeah. Uh, but carbohydrates are what we fuel our body with. Complex carbohydrates, yeah. not sugar, you know. But um, I was just trying to, like, some meatless kind of things. I, I know you. I know you. I'm just going to start cutting you off. Okay. Um, but just meatless, I mean, toast. You can do toast. You can yeah. put a, I don't care what you put on it. There's all, huh? Put an avocado on toast. Oh, avocado toast is great. I love peanut butter toast. I know that's mm -hmm. how I was raised, but that's just my, mm -hmm. one of my favorites. Just think about, okay, there, you know. What can I do? Follow some good, you know, people on Instagram and, and go from there. So so we're going to be giving you guys, along with the mental and physical, we're going to be including on this nutrition and, and a checklist for you. Um, these are not necessarily, but, well, first of all, they're pretty vague. Mm -hmm. Some of them get a little specific, but, but it's open to you get to kind of plug into there what you think. But these are the things... Some of them Heather did, um, some of them, well, most, uh, probably all of them Heather did. Uh, but just in general, these would be healthy for anybody, mentally, physically, or nutritionally. And, um, you know, one of the things on there is cut out meat and dairy. Um, and that's specifically why, we, we ex she already explained to you why. Um, I guess there there's probably cancers that that has nothing to do with. And maybe that's not a, a, a thing that, that you would put on the list or, or have to do. Well, you mm -hmm. just cross that off the box then. Um, we do talk about on this to, to, to make sure we cover it is, you know what? You need to track your food. That is important because we have a short memory. When we get to the end of the day and go, wow, if you really try to think back on what exactly and how much did you have of everything, that's hard to do. Um, there are apps out there on phones that are phenomenal now. They're getting better, better every year. Mm -hmm. There are apps that you can hold your phone over a picture of the, or just a, the, your food, and it will download the nutritional information for that, put it on the app, log it in for you. They, they just made it really easy. I think that's important if you really want to know what's going into your body. The bonus to this too is you can share this with a nutritionist. You can share it with an oncologist. And, um, they can maybe give you some feedback on, hey, I know that you heard this there and I see that you're eating a lot of this or little of this. Listen, because of your cancer and because of the treatment when we get into that that you're doing, we would really like to see you do this. Great. That, that's why you have, you know, that, that app is important, especially when we get to the treatment portion of this. That'll be more important. Yeah. A couple things before we let you go. Guilt. Oh. There's no place for guilt. So if you really want ice cream, have ice cream. Yes. Enjoy it and move on. Yep. Right? If you are, don't don't make yourself feel bad if you have a day where you didn't eat all of your fruits and vegetables. Whatever that it looks like. I just feel like, I feel like you can negate all of the good you do by beating yourself up over it's the mental the right bad, and the mental is you know? more important than the nutrition and the fitness that's just the yeah. truth i strongly believe that you're still here because of specifically because of one of these five to thrive things and it's the mental it, yeah so and then the last thing is i do feel like you know people will be asking what can they do and a lot of times they want to bring food and we kind of quickly just said wait a second we're going to eat differently than this so we would just say like, it might be helpful if you would either like, um, I'm trying to- What do you got from your garden? What do you got from your garden? <laughs> yeah. Or just, you know, do you want to help me figure this out? Or ask him for a gift card uh, to a store that you know you want to shop at oh, or things yeah. like that. You, it is great if you can find the friend or the person who can kind of help you uh, figure out what you like if you're not already eating kind of meatless, but but um but and you, you know what that you know people dropping by that, that might feed your kids and they'd be great with right it. and but you don't have to eat that right and i, I will say, say i do remember <laughs> that like i think people got 
um, you pizza gift certificates for the nights that were just a little too over the edge. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. whatever works. Um, but but again, I, it's not that people people make things and bring them be, with great intent. And if you can kind of get ahead of that a little bit, you can actually get stuff that might be helpful, or maybe somebody in your community makes great food yeah. that's really healthy and you can learn something from them tap into that yeah for sure for sure so all right nutrition you can do this you can make a difference in what you're doing right now yeah. it's the medicine's not, yeah. gonna work better the fitness is gonna feel better the your mental status is gonna be better when you're putting the right foods in your body you can do this yeah all right we'll okay. see you next week see you